Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from wherever you are watching this channel, depending on your time zone, and happy Sunday. Now, William Samoy Ruto, Rigathe Gashagwa, and Keture Kindiki are proving to Kenyans that they are above the law. I'm just wondering, since when did the president of Kenya got powers to issue orders, orders related to the law? without seeking the advice of the court. When did the Ruto become a judge? Since when did Kithure Kendiki become a judge? Kithure Kendiki is a professor of law. If you want to be a judge, let him resign from a CS, then go and apply for a judge. Maybe they will consider him and he will be sitting on the bench to make the orders that he's making as of now. I am surprised that the police issued the order to close down the New Life Prayer Center and the Church associated with the Pastor Ezekiel Odero. But above all, through his lawyer, Danson Omari, they seek the court to intervene on that issue. And the court pronounced itself that the church should be opened there's no way you can close the church without a proper reason. So the court give an, uh, uh, give, give, uh, explained itself on that matter. And because of that, then it was clear that the church is open for prayers. Surprisingly, today is on a Sunday. The members of the New Life Prayer Center and the church have been subjected to intimidation from police officers who went at that prayer, uh, church premise to block people from entering the church. They closed the gate and they were within that vicinity intimidating Christians who are just seeking to worship their God in a manner in which they understand or they feel fulfilled when they worship their God. Look at that. Sasa hii ndio Kenya tuko siku hizi. Naingia. Na pili tumesema kwamba zile gharama na hasara zitakazotokeza kwa sababu ya vitendo vya polisi basi hatutashtaki serikali ya Kenya. Tutashtaki kila polisi kwa jina lake. Mule ambaye atatekeleza illegal order mm -hmm. sisi tutamshtaki jumatatu yeah. kwa jina la na talipa atalipa kutoka kwa mshahara now we are continuing with the panel of discussion but just a quick request for those who are watching and you are not subscribed please consider subscribing to the returning subscribers i must thank you so much and again to all our viewers please give this video a thumbs up thank you so much and back to this discussion william ruto and his government are reducing this country to a banana republic whereby everyone will come up with their own pronunciation and it becomes the law. Actually, <laughs> it is surprising that we can get orders from left, right, center from individuals who are not even judges of any court. The time we had such kind of orders is during Moi era. So Ruto is living in Moi era. But most of us are trying to live within the 2010 constitution, an era that was ushered in by Raila Molodinga and the people of the like-minded like him, whereby the president does not have powers to issue some kind of orders Father, people from left, right, center. Those things no longer exist. Because it was like, if you are in good books with the president, then you are safe. But when you are speaking things that seemingly contradict the position of the president, you become an enemy of the state. So persecution. 
The church is facing persecution. Christians have been denied a right to worship. Because they have been blocked from their place of worship. Above all, Pastor Ezekiel did not give up. He still opened the church. We have those who managed to get to the church and uh, at least listen to the word of God, have time for prayer. And this is how the activities was going on in that church. Father, we say thank you. Thank you for this grace. Thank you for hearing our prayers. Thank you for the twelve thoughts of new life prayers sent by the church being flung open by your power so that we can worship you. We say did not just open the church because of his own wish. This was a public demand. A demand from the church members and a demand from the community around that church. For them they were that the pastor should open the church so that we can get there. We are thirsting for the word of God. We just need to congregate together and do our prayer. So the pastor had no option but to listen to the voice of God. The voice of God was speaking through the people who are a member of that church and the community around that church. But you can see now, today we have a new soul who is persecuting the church. The new soul of our time is William Samoy Ruto. The new soul of our time is Kithure Kindiki and the police officers who are being misused by the state. Wanatekeleza orders ambazo hazira musingi. How can a police officer give order? Order to who? The work of a police officer is to ensure that there is law and the order. But the order they are following is what the court has pronounced itself about. Come a court in the Kanisa, then the police would have a right to go and shut down the church. Like any court in the Kanisa ifunguliwe. The work of police is to ensure that there is peace there and the church is open and the people are worshipping peacefully. Look on how those officers are, you know, everyone is viewing them like enemy. You cannot play with the issue of faith. This is like touching someone's life. We have our own beliefs. But tuko na Saulo wa siku hizi, huyu Sauli anasumbua kanisa. In the name of William Ruto, in the name of Kithure Kindiki. They are literally just frustrating Pastor Ezekiel. They don't want him to have peace. They don't want him to to preach to the congregants. They are still just 
trying to malign his name even where they cannot succeed. They took him to the court. The court has released him. They wanted him detained for 30 days. The court said no. Seven days is enough. They closed the church. The court said open the church. Now they are bringing officers to intimidate church members. This should not happen to any pastor. This should not happen to any Christian or Muslim or any Kenyan from wherever you are. If everyone will be issuing orders, so who will be following the order? We will become a country of lawlessness. Whereby everyone will be operating on his own. Because now we are seeing police officers who pretend and position themselves as if they are above the law. <laughs> Things must, ch must change. Now, Kenyans have also commented on this and I want to read these comments as we continue with this discussion. It's only God who can judge the spirit, not the flesh. The gospel will continue. That is Dantex Daystam. If you don't respect government orders, my friend, that's ignorance and it has consequences. For this one, I think she's not well informed about this issue. Now, this is where Kenyans lost. Government orders cannot be above the court order. There is the government and there is the court. Even the court will issue order to the government. Hmm. Lucky, a kasiba, those police will die <laughs> denying people's faith of worship. Look at how people are, tell, are telling these officers. Gideon Chege, court allowed church to be opened. Kwani, the police understood was that was the church to be opened for what purpose? Good question. Ruben Wechuli. In Kenya, only the poor will be denied freedom. The rich have connections. So these people are the poor. They have been denied the freedom of worship. According to that comment. And lastly, we have Martin Opio. There is no day the flesh will judge the spirit. Hakuna and make your research. The word of God is alive and you can't convict God's message. The spirit will always judge the flesh. I don't know your views, but for me, I disagree totally with what the government is trying to do at Shanzu in the New Life Prayer Center and Church. See you in our next video.